I just had to do that. This is Glenda with Freylands and Friends Crafts Plus. Tonight is a craft. We're continuing with the cardinal. But first, if you watched the one that I made about women's health last week, it was about the osteoporosis that I have likely developed. I'm going to be getting a bone density study. But I discovered that I was two inches shorter than I had been for most of my life. I found those two inches. They're right here. <laughs> I made this. I told you. I said, I am going to make myself the silliest hat I could do. And I am proud of it. I got, I can toss them. I am the next Christmas tree. <laughs> so, that was fun. And I do plan on wearing it. Especially for fun. <laughs> now, back to what we're really supposed to be doing tonight. <laughs> be back in a minute. This is what we finished up with the other night. Excuse me. We got his tail feathers, one wing, and we got, well, we got his body covered here. This part's already baked down here, but we will, it doesn't hurt to bake it again. So, in fact, the more you bake it, the better. I've always heard. <laughs> We're going to start on the second wing, which, let's see, which way does this go? I had it all figured out. What I'm doing is I'm making the feathers or simulating the feathers. I do these little things to kind of give that feathered look rather than just a bunch of lines. Oh, heavens. Let's give this bird a wing. Here's where I've got to get. Need to round this off and kind of tuck it a little. Anything is to round it off. I did a raven for anybody who wants to go back and find that. I'll put a link to it. Um, long time ago. Well, it was about Halloween time. And I made each feather separate and made it so that it kind of... Those feathers came out so brittle. <laughs> I just couldn't even work with them. So I, I swore I would never make feathers like that again. I will make them on the piece instead of making them separate and then trying to attach them. I don't, I just did not do something right with those. Well, what I didn't do right was I made them too. This is what I, I need to grab it where it's. The thing is to just to simulate the feathers. Now this is the trunk here. This is part of the bird. 
These are his tail feathers. I'll put a line here. Kind of separate that as the row above that. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not. I may rethink that. And these are a lot of little feather things to put on him. But that's how it goes. Holy cow. One other thing that's going to help separate the look of these wings is color. Because I, I'll do the wings a darker red. And this little doohickey up here, that's darker as well. Got a piece of something through here that shouldn't be. Oh, tail feathers. That's one of the things is I, as I grab it on the way around, I end up squishing my previous work on it. <laughs> Thick there. Okay. Ha! Huh. And now we need to give him a head. I need to fix this beak. The beak somehow. Well, I made it too thick. Ooh, be careful there. On the base part I made it too thick and it got crooked somehow I'm somehow I got it crooked just concentrate on That looks more like a beak. This looks weird right now, but once I get it all smoothed in, so that 
but it doesn't look like it. Shouldn't be there. <laughs> Now I explained the other day that the reason I wanted to work from the bottom up was so I could get these layers like this in here. Because the, this needs to come over the tail feathers and such. Keep disfiguring my beak. Getting somewhere, folks. I'm starting to figure out how this smoothing tool works best. <laughs> how to apply the pressure. I think I've got him. I don't go too deep there. It's too deep.
Oh, that's way too low. <laughs> seem to get this guy's eyes in the right place. He's not on this side. Hey, there! I got it, I think. Holy! Keep his beak nice and pointy and little there. Okay. Good here, I want, but just got little old feathers up there on his hood, on the top of it. It should almost look smooth. There. I don't think I'm going to try to make eyelids on this guy. I'm just not that good. What are we thinking, guys? <clears throat> are we thinking she's ready to bake? She, he, it. <laughs> Is it ready for bake? How much smushes and smashing did I do? I don't think I did too bad. Some I needed to make. Needed to smush and smash a little bit of it, I think. <laughs> I think I'm going to bake it. Make sure the beak is good. One problem I don't like is that I have to lay it down because it's too big for my oven. 
I made him too big. <laughs> but we'll hope he comes out looking grand. Like any regal cardinal should. We'll be back later. Oh, I think that's going to be the end of it for tonight, folks. Now that I've discovered my two inches of height again. <laughs> I... I think we've used up our time. <laughs> Labor intensive to, that takes so long. Let me know, please, because I don't want people just, you know, not coming back until they see something interesting. I want to make interesting stuff. <laughs> I'll make this stuff, but I just won't put it in the whole week. I'll take um, sections of it. So we'll see you Friday. Love you.